Baker Devices. We are standing here at the corner of Earthquaker Drive in downtown Akron, celebrating Earthquaker Day, our annual community customer appreciation event. And I am here with Emily Hopkins. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Earthquaker has a special place in my heart because the first pedals I ever used on harp were Earthquaker Devices pedals. So that was like my first experience into the pedal world and like now I'm here today which like feels a little surreal because like Earthquaker is like near and dear to me and it's actually the reason why my partner Russ and I started dating because he brought over those Earthquaker Devices pedals for wow. me to try. So we bonded over, yeah. you know, testing them out and hearing the sounds. And he was like, you've never tried, you know, like an avalanche run on your harp. And I'm oh like, my gosh. no. And he's like, well, I haven't either. And I don't know what it sounds like. So let's try it out together. So Earthbreaker Devices really was like one of the reasons why we met and bonded That's and amazing. started dating because that was our mutual like interest of Earthquaker Devices wow. pedal specifically. So thank well, you, you so heard much. It here <laughs> first. This is a great way to start a new relationship on some real interesting common ground, so yeah. much to uh, talk about yeah, and explore. Right? <laughs> yeah. So many matchmaking opportunities. Yes, yeah. yes. That's so amazing. Well, your clinic earlier today was incredible. I really, Thank really so enjoyed much. that. We had so much yeah. fun. What an amazing time. Um, <laughs> and your harps are so beautiful, and what you do with them is like, just next level. It's so, so, so incredible. Thank you. So thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We had a long drive. We came yeah. from Long Island. Yeah. And this is the first time we're here in Akron. So. Really? Yeah, it's an honor, oh, honestly. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome. Well, I was thinking, since you enjoy the pedals so much, it might be interesting to see how we make everything here. Yes, that yes. would be amazing. Yeah. Let's do a tour. OK. Well, here we are. This is our factory. This is amazing. This is the room where so much of our production happens. And I want you to get a tour from our production manager, Mike Tolan. He works here every day tirelessly, making sure all of our pedals are perfectly made. And he can show you each of the stages of production. That would be amazing. Oh, that's so exciting. It will be amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is my first time here, and I would love for you to just kind of show me around and like explain the different parts of the building. Totally. Okay, cool. I can do that. This is a, a good day to be here because we organized everything, cleaned up and stuff for Earthquaker Day. So. It looks great in here. Yeah, thank Very you. clean, sparkling. And it's nice because there's air conditioning in here. Yeah. It's like really I was going to say, outside. yeah, that is a nice feature. So, yeah, this is our shop. Uh, we've been here since 2015 or 2016. Oh, wow. So, okay. yeah, we were down the street. I don't know if you were, well, you were, you were at the studio, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah we're at so, the we used to build in the one room of that studio. There was like oh, 24 okay. of us, elbow to elbow, soldering all day. I That's, can imagine that got crampy quickly. It did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, we came over here, um, you know, kind of cleaned this place up, painted. You know, I think whenever we moved in, there was like some strange communal like psychedelic band living here so there's like a bunch of drum sets and like a hundred floor toms or something that's amazing <laughs> so that was cool yeah that's interesting uh, but now it's just a pedal factory let so, me say just like now it's just a pedal factory yeah, right. <laughs> like it isn't the most amazing factory ever right all right so let's where should oh, we yeah. start this We're is starting... the production floor so okay. this is kind of the area that i watch over through the course of the day so i'll just walk you yeah. through the build process okay for for our pedals. This is so exciting. Yeah. So. Oh my God, wait. Yeah. So yeah, here is a really old decaying sea machine. That's amazing. Yeah. It's been in there for about four years. Wow. So this used to be full. The water is slowly evaporating. Wow. <laughs> I want a pet sea machine. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, this is how, how everything starts. So every pedal starts as its own unique circuit board. So this has all the traces that tells the electricity where to go and the signal where to go, and it tells our builders where to put the parts. So generally things are in panels of four. So okay. this is gonna end up being four C machines, like that oh, guy wow. in there. Um, and you know, we usually make 36 of these at a time. 
and we can break them apart at any point, but it makes sense to kind of keep them together yeah. for the beginning. So that's where it starts. Uh, the next step is probably the most tedious of the whole process. So that is the application of surface mount ICs. Oh, wow. So that okay. are these little guys here. Okay, this, when I get like a build-it-yourself pedal kit, yeah. these little like spider boys are like the first thing, they're always like included on their board when I right. get it. Because like, so... they're the hardest ones to put on for okay. sure. Okay, so, so I'm glad that I don't have to do no. it. So. There's only a few of us that can do this without making a big mess, and I'm not one of those people, but there's <laughs> it's a scary. certain touch. I feel like it's yeah. scary to do this. Yeah, but basically everything we make now has to have one of these, and a lot of it is just to control the relay to make the switching work. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to have the old pedals with the stomp, hard stomp switches were like clicking. Yeah. But now we use the relay, which is quiet and probably good for playing a harp. Um, I love those quiet yeah. switches. <laughs> but uh, it requires this little guy to tell the switch what to do. That's so, so cool. So they got to put all these on. And once those are ready, they go over into these storage bins. So this is basically everything that we're making now, just kind of prepped for population. Here's oh, another wow. example. This is going to be a spatial delivery. Oh, that's so, so cool. So since this is a digital pedal, we need you know, yeah. some other more complicated processors on it. So once those are done, they head over this way to our production aisle. Oh, I love these soldering irons. These are good quality soldering irons. Yeah, yeah. We got some cool, like really cool new yes. rework tools too. Like these, these are called hot tweezers. Oh my God, so I love it. So it's basically like two soldering irons. And then these are the size of one of our ICs. So you can actually reach down on the circuit board and just pluck parts off. That's so cool. So I is. only use that one specific like chisel one, like the beginner. It's probably yeah. just for beginners, you know what I mean? Like that chisel point. Yeah, I like a chisel point too, for sure. But yeah, a lot of our new boards in the future are going to go to these surface mount parts. So we needed some better tools to deal with those. Yeah. So this is rework land here. This is a population desk. So this is, if you look around the shop, all of our population stations look pretty much the same. You know, each bin has the parts that we use the most often on our pedals. So, you know, a lot of our pedals have the same resistors to control how bright the LED is or, you know, to control the signal coming in and going out of the pedal. Wait, but does every station also have that dolphin pedal on it? You know, there is definitely some individual <laughs> swag. Like, this, this is called the flipper. <laughs> This is why uh, Brian made this pedal. It's like a loop switcher. This is amazing. And the lights <laughs> of the dolphin light up whenever. Do you know I, what color they are? I think there's two colors depending on the loop that you're in. That's so good. Uh, but yeah, some, uh, we have some <laughs> teeth here. Uh, we have Candy Panda. I love um, looking at the, like, the little, like the details of every person's station, like right. the magic eye. I can never see anything. I think that's a lie. I, I don't think magic eye is a real, th I don't think it has any images in it. I mean, were the picture? Do you I, see anything when you? I use can't it? say otherwise. I always just pretended that I could see what they were whenever I was. I'm just gonna go along. Next yeah. time someone says, "Do you see it?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, totally. I yeah. see it. I see pedals in here." Yeah. <laughs> There's a Seinfeld I really like about a magic guy. I'm a big <laughs> Seinfeld uh, devotee. Same, that's, same. That's a different, different conversation, I guess. But yeah, yeah, you can see the individuality coming out, which is nice. Um, but as far as parts go, you know, this is just kind of the basics of what you need to build stuff. So Allie's building some park fuzzes. So she's got a build sheet. This is like the map of the pedal. So That's you got amazing. the circuit board here, the parts you need. We got revisions like, hey, we're going to put a different pot in the park fuzz. So mm -hmm. we got an update there. We are using a old germanium diode that's obsolete. So we can't buy that anymore. So we had to update that. So oh. this is like the map. Here's how you match your transistor. So this gives her all the instructions she needs. And then she's got her boards. You know, here's, they got the ICs on them. Yeah. And they're in their panels of four. Puts the date on so we know who made it and when. We got to tape off the backs because to solder these now, rather than getting our irons and soldering every single point, mm -hmm. we're dropping them down into a big vat of molten solder oh, and wow. soldering everything all at once. Oh, so cool. we don't want to solder these things yet, so we yeah. tape them off. That's so, so cool. Yeah, so, you know, once they're totally populated, um, they will go back and get dipped and the leads will get trimmed, and then they'll come back up here for quality control. Awesome. So I will show you that next. So this is the next stage. This is quality control. So, you know, all the, everything got soldered at this point, and now somebody's gonna go through and they're gonna look really carefully at the board. They're gonna okay. say, is is this capacitor crooked? Is this relay melted? You know? Yeah. Is 
are these parts connected together that shouldn't be? So they're going to go through and clean all that up, uh, make sure it looks as good as it possibly can. Um, and then they're going to put on the parts that couldn't have gone on before. So we got rotaries on this guy. This is a data corruptor, um, LED, you know, stuff like that. Everything they need to get it ready to get assembled. And then they sign off on it. So Dave said, this is good. So. Question for you. So yes. what, what happens if like you put your capacitor on wrong? Because I've done that. I've, yeah. I've like, you know, rotated the other, like you're supposed to follow the stripe or something. Yeah, and I like right? messed that up. So like what happens if it reaches a stage and like that's backwards. Like, is it a quick fix or is it something? Yeah, you know, it depends get, on what's wrong, I guess. Right? Yeah, they get pretty good at it. I mean, okay. a lot of these parts, we can just heat them up with our iron, pop them out, okay. put them back in the right way. You know, the same thing with these ICs. Sometimes they get put in backward, so okay. we can get our hot tweezers. Hot tweezers, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes we miss this stuff in this stage too. But we're gonna find it in final testing. You know, because if you okay. put that cap in backwards. You know, there's a chance that things are not even going to power on at all. Yeah. Or it's going to do something pretty wrong whenever it gets to audio testing. We've all been there. Yes. We've all been there. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Every day. Um, so, yeah, once they get completed in the QC phase, they head over to assembly land. So, and just, this is just one thing that we were pointing out in the tours because we used to do enclosure production here. You know, we used to drill everything in the back and do our printing and stuff. But now we do that down the street at 411 which is what we call our shop down on Exchange Street. Sorry, I'm using shop lingo. No, no, please. So, you know, I just, feel very cool that I'm like including yeah, you know, the shop lingo. Yeah, the 411 down the street. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we just, basically our process is we get these undrilled raw enclosures. We drill them on our CNC table. So this is all mechanized drilling. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing our powder coating here. So, oh, the powder you know, coating is so nice. It is. It's such a cool process, too. Like, I didn't know there was electricity involved and stuff. But you have I to, did like, not know that either. You have to hook this up to power. What? And then the electricity helps, you know, attract and oh, that's so cool. spread this powder around correctly. Am I right about that, Mikey? Whatever you Mikey say to me right. is I, yeah. I believe. Whatever yeah, he tells enough. me, I'm going to believe. I'm going to yeah. go, okay. wow, electricity. And then it gets baked wow. and everything is yeah. uh, adhered correctly. And then... Um, and then we do our graphics printing down there too. So, cool. so it goes from this over to that. That's and once amazing. it gets to that spot, it's ready to go into assembly, which is right here. So this is just kind of like the mechanical phase where, you know, everything we're gets set in. Screwing yeah. everything together. We're putting that stomp switch on, you know, our LED bezels, toggles, that sort of business. We're also making sure these all look perfect. So that's. We kind of do like a visual quality inspection throughout the whole time. So yeah. We want to catch this stuff early rather than like getting to the last step and having to take everything apart. Yeah, understandable. Um, yeah. <laughs> so everything's assembled. It goes and lives on these baking racks, which we've been using forever. And they're still it's convenient, hasn't yeah. been like a better solution that we've had for storing pedals. So this is all stuff that's staged and ready to get wired and tested. That's amazing. So yeah, the next stage, we still call it wiring because Originally, like when we used older, like enclosure mounted jacks and switches, we had to do like a bunch of work with wires, like 15 wires on a pedal. Oh. So that would take up a lot of time. We still call it wiring, but it's much. It's shop lingo. Yeah, it's shop lingo. Yeah, it's much more simplified now where there's only two wires on here and they get connected with a, okay. you know, with a switch clip. So I'm not yeah. wiring anything on here. We still call it wiring. Uh, but we do any final soldering connections we have to do here, put the knobs on, and then we audio test everything. So we're still, you know, we're not using scopes. We're not using signal generators. We're yeah. just mostly playing guitar or loops and just listening to every pedal. That's amazing. And it's a thing where it's just like, there's just a few of us that do it and we just do it all day. So once you test a couple thousand hoofs, you know what you you're know looking for. What, yeah. yeah. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. So, That's so, so cool. we do that audio test and then this is where if there's a problem, we just have to figure out what it is and how to fix it. And yeah. that's where things can get interesting because who knows, anything can go wrong. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, I like that you guys keep, I like that you keep the pedals on baking racks because they're like, they look like little desserts. Like what, you know what I mean? Like they look yeah. like little treats that they're like waiting for you to like pick up and play. Like there's a nice organization, like not only for organizing purposes, but also because like we made these and these yeah. are like our bakery. This is your bakery in here. Ooh, I feel I like, like this is like, yeah. look, cause they're so colorful and nice. Yeah, I always like seeing the different varieties lined up against yeah. each other too though. But there is, yeah, it's very pleasing. Yeah, so. right? It's visually <laughs> and pleasing. And it's also like yeah. for us, like really satisfying. Cause it's like, 
Look at all this stuff Look we made. Look at what we made, yeah. <laughs> we made I know, that. there's a lot of petals on there. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You can just roll it around. Yeah. Say, anyone want one? Yeah, anyone want to pick up a yeah. petal? Yeah. That's Here, so try nice. One, yeah, exactly. Try <laughs> one. That's so cool. So, so where do we go? So I mean, yeah, once from it's... there, it's ready to go get boxed. Okay. So we can head back there now. And this is just, you know, more. This is all of our storage here. So if you look in these bins, these are all petals that are ready to assemble. Oh, wow. So here's some depths. And we probably have everything right now. We've been trying to, to build up some stock since we're in kind of an uncertain time where we never know what to expect with supply and yeah. demand. So, so this is all. Wow, this is like overwhelming in the best kind of way. <laughs> yeah. We really like these bins. Yeah, these bins are like our favorite thing. You know, point. I just mostly yeah. am showing you this so I can show you these bins. As a flex, like, hey, look, look at, at all. Bins. Look at how organized look at we are. Beautiful bins. This is a, yeah, wow. Yep. Mm hmm So wait, so this is okay, correct me if I'm wrong. So these are all the finished things that are waiting to go into the enclosures, right? They're all yep. these are all prepared. They've gone through quality good. control. Okay. They're just ready to so get So they made assembled. it. So so these are the good ones. Yep. These are all wow. the good okay. ones. Okay, I don't know why I touched it because now I'm afraid I don't want to mess it up. It's already perfect. So No, it's fine. These are like bins just of perfection. <laughs> no, it's good. This is so cool. Yeah. So those will all be little petals soon. <laughs> Baby petals. Yeah. And then, you know, this is all just our parts that we have okay. to keep track of because there's a lot of random things. A lot of small parts, yeah. Hook transistors, you know, <gasps> random stuff, which are always fun to see the different types of, like, germanium stuff we get in since yeah. it's always changing. So, yeah, got that. Oh, and all the little LEDs. They're yep. so cute. LED wall. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I love little LEDs. Yeah. You got to put them in right. You got to make sure the negative oh, leg yeah. is, yeah. It's a whole thing. Yeah, whenever I was, I, like, applied to work at Earthquaker, and I was like, I'm gonna build a pedal and bring it to my interview. So I bought like a kit to build a slow gear clone. Oh my God. And I put the LED in backwards and then I tried Crushing. to replace it and I ripped the traces out. <gasps> I, I so, did, okay. So okay. for me, like, I can't tell you how many times I've messed up the placement of the LED with the longer side. Is it longer side positive or I forget even yeah. now, but I always have to double check because that's one of the things that like, you can easily overlook. Like, is your LED in correctly, you know? Yeah. I do that, and I do the. I always flip my ICs around too. Yeah, I, I always have to double check everything. Yeah. So this is the last area um, of production, which is the boxing area. So you can see all the manuals here behind you. Oh wow! Uh, there's some pedals over here. Those have all been tested, so we're like, yeah, these are good. So they're gonna get a backplate, serial number, you know, the box, manual, all that business, and then they're ready to go out into the world. That's so, amazing. Back here, all these aisles are just finished stock waiting to ship. So you'll see all the petals there. And <gasps> oh. yeah, it's, it's a lot. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Wait, can I just go, can I just oh, take yeah, a peek? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> oh my. Oh, they're in here. All right, well, I'm just going to pick a couple to take home, then I'm taking some with me. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <gasps> I don't want to, OK, I'm not messing anything up. This is pedal heaven. Every Earthquaker pedal is here. That's so crazy. <laughs> this is like a dream, honestly, to like <laughs> just like walk down and be like, let me just browse the collection of yeah. all the pedals you corridors. have prepared. Yeah, yeah corridors <laughs> of pedals. It's so it's, it's like magical. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. No, it's it's another thing that's like exciting for us where it's like, I made this many spatial deliveries. I know, do you like, ever just like walk down the aisles and be like, that I did that. Like yeah, I probably more, do this. More often than I would like to admit. Do you just like run your hand aisles. along the boxes like <laughs> right, yeah. I did all this? My children. My hard work, my yeah, exactly. Children. My children. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well we can that's come so back amazing. here okay. to the hopefully it's not too loud back here. So these are a bunch of new parts. These are like the future parts for future pedals. Oh, wow. Which are all on reels rather than in little bags. So it's crazy to see all of them. Yeah, it's kind of overwhelming. It is, yeah. Like, I mean, for as rewarding as it is for how many pedals you already built, yeah. I feel like when you come to the next area and you see all this stuff, like, not yet built, it's like, yeah. oh, we still have more to go. Yeah, I think this is like a year's worth of parts. Wow. So it's weird to be like, a lot, but then not a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are doing great. You're killing it, so. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. I love this station. Wait, okay. Can we just take a second to appreciate the organization? This is so yes. nice. Just look this at it. This is our new area, which we're trying to make real nice. I love but, this. Yeah. We always have this thing where we're like, we want to have every tool in a spot. Yeah. Always. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Russ. <laughs> this is like Russ's organizational dream, like, cause I, you should see like my cables at home. Yeah. Like, I wish I was disorganized where everything had a spot. Russ is like, where's the tuner? I'm like, I, I don't know. Somewhere in this room, I don't know. This yeah. is like a dream for me to have everything yeah. aligned so nicely. I love so this, nicely. and it's also the opposite of my like home music yeah, setup, right? which okay. is just like a cable pile and a pedal pile. So it's not just me, because I have like all my half-finished projects here. Yeah. I got all my pedals over here. Like, yeah. my room is chaos. So I think okay. you can appreciate it. And also, like, not implement it all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're like, this, this is not me. Yeah. Yeah. But this but is I great. Wish, yeah. I love it, but also not capable of it myself. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, these are our new, the new machines, which is, like, our project right now. Um, so rather than putting all those resistors in by hand, we're training this robot how to do it. What? So it what? is. So all of these reels are all the parts that go on Wait, every pedal. Can I get make. closer to it? Yep. Like a it's, um, it's off. It's real scary when it's running because it yeah, moves around real fast. It's scary when it's yeah. not running. This is, <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's, okay, so. So each one of these is a different part. Okay. Um, and the parts are tiny now, you know, they're just this big. Yeah. And those are gonna replace the big, bigger through hole resistors and capacitors. Wow. So we basically programmed this robot to pick up these parts and put them where we wanted to on the circuit board. Oh, that's and so cool. It can do it really fast to the point that it's kind of scary to watch, but it'll just help us keep up, you know? Wow, keep up with the demand, yeah. yeah. But it's kind of like, the way we have been doing things is like the way that people did in like the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And this is like finally getting close to current, you know, like this is how, this is how you actually make electronics now. Yeah. Um, but. It's been fun because we're pretty much learning how to do it ourselves. Like, we don't have any technical people with this yeah. that work at Earthquaker, so just we're just learning how to do it on our own. Wow, that's amazing. But, but yeah, the circuit board will come through the line here, and all the components are installed, and then it's baked in a big oven, which is how the soldering is done, rather than with a soldering iron or, you know. Oh, yeah, you were telling me, okay, the baking, pro okay, like, yeah. you just dip that. Is that what well, we used to dip. dip. Okay. Now we're gonna bake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are like a bakery, yeah, like with the bakery sheets, like yeah. the oven. <laughs> yeah. And it's we amazing. definitely talk about that. Like this is a lot like a pizza oven, and we're just like, man, we can make some real good pizzas in there because you can really control the temperature of it and stuff. So. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, this is where we're headed. It's still like in the setup process, but next time Very you're back. Cool. We'll really I'm gonna be visit. Stuff out. Next time I visit, I'm gonna say hello to Helper Robot, who's gonna be doing his thing. I'm gonna be like, "How's production today?" Yeah. We're gonna chat. Yeah. He's gonna, gonna say, like, "Hello, Keep it up. Emily. Yeah. Hello. Production is going well. <laughs> I liked your last video. Great job." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for yeah. showing me around. This has been so Thanks wonderful. Thanks for coming, yeah. Oh my god, awesome. it's been such an honor. And we're yeah. having such a blast here today. So. Great. Earthquaker right. Day. What a day. What yep. an amazing day. <laughs> great day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. I love that that just ended. Yeah, right when the yeah, right? sound ended.